Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about sketch relations in SOLIDWORKS. So initially I'm going to explain about horizontal relation. So I'm going to select the front plane. Now I'm in the sketcher mode. So horizontal relation. So I'm going to draw one line. So select this line is inclined. So select this line and select horizontal. So this is the horizontal line. So wherever we move it is in horizontal position similarly i am going to sh show you vertical collinear perpendicular parallel midpoint so i am going to draw one more inclined line and select this line and make it vertical so vertical constraint see here next is collinear so i'm going to draw two lines see here there are two different lines and uh, these are not collinear so we have to select these two lines with control button see we can see here the left side select collinear see here now it is in uh, these two lines are aligned see so next i am going to show you perpendicular so i am going to draw one horizontal line and one inclined line so i am going to select these two lines and make it perpendicular see here this is a perpendicular To this horizontal line. So next I am going to show you parallel lines. So I am going to draw two different lines. See these two are not parallel. So how to verify is draw select these two line and you can see the ang angle. So these two lines are not parallel. So we have to select these two lines and select parallel see here next is midpoint see i'm drawing one line and one more line so when i select this line and this line this point it shows the midpoint so select this so it exactly joins at the midpoint of the other line see here this is the midpoint symbol and it's also perpendicular so next i am going to show you coradial so initially i am going to show with uh, one circle and arc See, I am going to make this construction for better visibility and I am going to draw an arc. See. So when I select this circle and this arc, here when we select this core radial, automatically it aligns with the other circle. See here, it is a core radial. Similarly, when we draw two arcs, See here, these two arcs. Select these two arcs and select Corridor. So it is aligned. See here. See it is. Next, I am going to show you tangent. So I am going to draw one line. 
and select this arc and this line and select tangent so it is tangent even if it does not joins it is tangent to this circle so if you want to join just simply move to this end point similarly so I have shown this for uh, an arc we can do it for tangent of for this circle so select this circle and this this line and select tangent see here so it is tangent at this point so next is concentric so select this circle select one more circle select this point this uh, entity and this entity and select concentric see this is concentric next is equal so e for equal so select we can draw two lines and we can make it equal so let us see with measurement see here this is 200 this is 200 so these two lines are equal similarly we can select for arcs and uh, circles so we can select these two circle and make it equal so these two are equal so we can make one line one circle as a construction as a reference and uh, similarly we can make uh, two arcs equal see here so this is an arc so select these two arcs and make it equal see here these two are equal so we can see the equal symbol at this arc when we draw any line if you do not want to give the dimension select this line and you can fix fix this so this is you can see the fixed symbol next is peers peers generally it happens in 3d sketch or two entities in two different planes so I am going to draw one circle on the top plane see here and one line in the front plane so select this circle and this point and see you can see peers so the line joins the circle which is in the other sketch so mostly it happens in two different sketches see so these are the most frequently used sketch relations suppose I do not want to see the sketch relations for example if I draw two lines and make it equal so I do not want to see these relations so here we have to go to view show hide and select sketch relations so uncheck this so it is not visible so based on our requirement we can choose this that option so this is brief about uh, solver sketch relations thanks for watching